In this video, we are going to see how to get email notifications for post updation in WordPress. So here, let's say that your WordPress account is being handled by a lot of people. So every time a post is updated, you want a notification to update you about the same through Gmail. Now, how can that be done? For this, you will have to set up some integration between WordPress and Gmail and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be WordPress and your action application would be Gmail. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. And here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. Now here, what is my objective? My objective is that every time there is a post which is there on WordPress, it is updated then automatically I should get an email notification. So I'm going to name it as get email notification for post updation in WordPress. Let's click on create. As we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, which is when this happens. And another one is action, which says do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Now, in this integration, I want that every time a post is updated in WordPress, then I should be notified about it because since multiple users are working on that particular post, so every time a change is made, I should have my eye on that. So my trigger application would be WordPress. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event. So this is the event that will make this workflow run. So this would be post updated instance. So this is going to trigger when existing post is updated. Let's click on this. And here we have received a webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect with WordPress. Now to set up this connection, we have to follow the following steps. You are requested to please read this carefully and then process. So I'm going to show you what we have to do. So first, let me take you to the WordPress account. So once you are here, we have to visit plugins. So I'm going to scroll down and here you can see plugins. So once we are here, we have to go to add new. So this is the page. So let's click on this. So as we do that here, we have to look for WP webhooks. So I'm going to go to search. And here I'm going to look for WP webhooks. And here you can see this is the webhook. I'm going to click on this. And here you can see that if I take you down, you can see that it has already been installed on my system. So if it isn't installed in your system, please make sure once you have installed it, activate the plugin. So I'm going to close this. And now we are going to go to settings. So again, on the left hand side, we have settings. Let's click on this. Here we have to go to WP webhooks. And once we are here, we are going to go to send data. So as we reach here, we have to select post updated from the left sidebar. So from the left sidebar, we have to select post updated. And here we have to add a new webhook URL. So I'm going to click on this. Let's name this webhook as new webhook. And now here we have to paste the link that we have received. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. I'm going to copy this once again, go back to WordPress and paste this over here. So once done, let's click on add for post update. So as we have done that, now what we have to do is we are going to scroll down and this is the new webhook that we have just created. So we are going to click on the settings link. Okay, so this is the settings link. And here we have to select post from the trigger on selected post type setting. And once we have done this, finally, we are going to click on save settings. 
So here we can see that the settings have been saved. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here now it is saying that do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now I'm going to take you back to WordPress and here we are going to go to posts. So let's click on this, go to all posts. And here let's see that this particular post is to be updated. So I'm going to click on this. And here I'm just going to add certain things. For example, news verified and published. So what did I do? I made a little change in my existing post. Now once this is done, let's click on update here. And here you can see that it has been updated. Now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect and here we can see that we have received the API response. So let's see the slug is testing and then as I take you down the filter is raw. Then again what is the category? It is uncategorized and then this is the post permalink. Then as I take you down here is the post type which is post. This is the post title. And then again, as I take you down over here, this is the before post name. And this is the post before post content. So which means that before updation, this was the post. And now I'm going to scroll down. So here you can see this is the change that we have made. Basically, this is the updation news verified and published. This is the extra thing that has been added to my post. So once this is done, what is my next objective? My next objective is that I should be verified on my email about this post updation. So I'm going to go down and here I'm going to select my next application as Gmail. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to send email. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Gmail account so that it can have access to the information. Now to set up this connection, first we are going to click on add new connection and then connect with Gmail. Here we have to select the account. So once we have selected the account, I'm going to go down. And here it is asking me for some additional access. Let's click on continue. This is absolutely secure. So once you have done that here, we can see that the authorization has been successful, which basically means that Gmail is now connected with Pabli Connect. And now we have to map this information. Here, the first thing that we have to enter is recipient's email address. So what do I want? I want an email to be shared with myself or maybe some team member. So this email address is not going to change. So this is going to remain static. So I'm going to write this manually. So once I have written this, now if I want to add a carbon copy or BCC, I can do that. Now what is the sender's name? So I'm writing Pabli Connect. And then we have the email subject. So I'm going to write post updation alert. So next is email content type. So this is plain email content. So what I'm going to write is alert WordPress post. So here we have written WordPress post. Now what is the post? For this I'm going to map this information. What is mapping? Mapping means that I already have this information in the previous step and I'm just going to retrieve it here. How am I supposed to do that? So for this I'm going to go to step one and let me look for the title of my post. So as I scroll down this is the post before post title which means the title before the updated version. So I'm going to click on this. So WordPress post this has been updated okay now updated version so i'm going to write the updated version i'm again going to click on this and now as i scroll down here so this is post post content so this is the content that has been updated so i'm going to click on this regards okay so this is my email content and now if you have any particular file to be attached you can here provide the file name and here you can provide the url i'm going to click on save and send test request so once this is done here we can see that we have received the api response and our mail has been sent now i'm going to take you to my email address to check the same and yes here we can see that we have received a mail which basically here says Alert, the post-China air incursions into Taiwan zone doubled in 22 has been updated. Now, what is the change made? So here we have added this line news verified and published and this is the entire post. And here we have the URL of the same. So 
I hope you have understood this. As of now, our integration is a success. But we also need to check this in real. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you back to WordPress. And here, let's go to posts. And now I'm going to make a change in another post. So let's say the news this time is armed attack on Mexican prison leaves 14 dead. I'm going to click on this. And now here I'm going to update this. So updated version. This is just a demo. So this is what my updation is. I'm going to click on update here. Now as soon as this is done, I'm going to take you to my email address to check if we have received an email. Let's go back and yes, here we can see that we have received this email. Alert, the post armed attack on Mexican prison leaves 14 dead has been updated. The change made is updated version demo and this is the URL. This basically means that our integration is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect to understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy two-step integration process where our trigger application was WordPress and the event here was post updated instant. Here our action application was Gmail and the event was to send email. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.